Victor Zontos. <laughs> Now that we got the extra rep, and now that we can talk to spirits, we'll go and deal with do that mission for Eris at last. And there are all those other skeletons that had spirits hanging out next to them that we can now talk to. If I wind up, uh, for instance, if I wind up going back to the catacombs in the outer city, because there is a treasure that's buried down there. Try to stop by and talk to a few skeletons and see what goes on there. And we also have to help these guys out. Oh, we didn't get the mission yet because the rep wasn't high enough. So what's a rep now? 1,560. Okay, I think I got a lot of enough rep now. I've heard of her. Maybe she could help us. She could die with us. We don't even know who she is. Fine. I'll find out. <clears throat> Excuse me, miss, but who are you? My name is Scarlet. Scarlet? You mean THE Scarlet? Your reputation precedes you, to say the least. We are all that's left of the Resistance. We are the lucky ones. The ones who got away and escaped the massacre on the Night of the Blade. If you've come looking for help, you've come to the wrong place. The resistance is over. You came too late. That's odd. After all the stories I've heard, I came here looking for heroes. This is what you can do for us, and for the city. In the harbour, there anchors a ship, loaded to the brim with gunpowder. Hell knows what it's intended for. But it'll be nothing good. Go there, by night, when those stupid guards take a break. Blow it up. Blow it all up. You will save lives, that's for sure. Come back when you're done. Very good. And these guys... I grew up here, you know. Seen the good old days. Back when I was a lad. Not working shifts at the dry dock. Now, what do you want? What work do you do here? I work down in the dry dock. That's all I do. And I'm sick of it. Okay, now these guys can be recruited to work in the mine back in San Pasquale. Tell me about the good old days. Ah... Those are the days. My mates taught me the ropes in the docks and the taverns. Showed me how a quick-footed boy might earn a ducat or two a day by running up the steep streets of the Arsenal district. We thought ourselves to be sharp and daring, so we undercut the bigger boys who were asking three or more ducats a job. I don't think I've ever been as happy as I was then. But today, the doja's greed ruined everything. I wish I could find the magic of my childhood again. If I could, I'd leave the rotten Arsenal in the blink of an eye. Have you ever considered working in the mountains? In the mountains? What do you mean? An old miner in a village not far from here is looking for people like you to reopen a copper ore mine. Sounds like hard work. But I guess I'd be used to it. And anything's better than working for Largo. I'll pay this miner of yours a visit. And my friends here will surely join me. Copper ore? Why not? But there's more than one group we have to talk to. Okay. Hopefully my rep is high enough for you, Leora. Leave me alone. No. What's your problem? I know a lot about you. Don't come any closer. Not unless you want Victor to know you're here. Victor's my master. It hasn't always been this way. I once was different, but I was blind. I lost the one true meaning in my life. He died in a dark place. Painfully. And all because of me. The last words that passed between us were spoken in anger. I will not let such things happen again. Where did your husband die? What does it matter? He died in the darkest place in the city, a room deep in the catacombs. Oh, why didn't I tell him that I didn't mean to betray him? Yeah, let me ask her about Sophistos. Leave me alone. Do you know anything about a man called Sophistos? I know a lot, but why should I share my knowledge with you? Goodbye. Okay, I guess we have to get that mission with her husband done. And you can't complete the mission for her until you uh, free the chapel. That's the second time that's happened. Until you free the chapel. 
because you need to. T her husband is a skeleton in the catacombs, and you need to talk to him. Oh, I was gonna. S I'm like, if that if that glitch keeps happening, I'm gonna try to have some fun with it. So. Messenger, we need to warn him, we need to do that. These two are both uh oh it's nighttime. Let's head straight there. We can do we can do that. We can blow this stuff up now. Yes? I want to use the platform. <laughs> Good to warn that guy. And blow up the gunpowder. To it by going this way. I'm honestly not sure. What do you want? Let me pass, please. I need to get to the dockyards. No way! You have no permission. Leave! Now! Wait. Maybe she can help us with our problem. Shut up, you moron. Do you know her? I don't. All right, guys. Tell me about it. Should we trust her? Oh, I think she can help us. Well, I'm not happy with this. We don't have many options remaining. We were hoiked from the inner city to this place here. You were hoiked? Why? Ah, well then. Listen, we were out too long because we were doing some dealings with, say, uh, special people. Nestor, <laughs> We hid the stuff in two chests in the garrison of the inner city. But then we got hoiked for being late. And now the stuff is still in the garrison and we're in danger. If you get the stuff from the garrison without the guard captain noticing you, then he'll let you pass. <laughs> I will get the stuff unnoticed. Yeah, I'm not totally not doing that. I'm going to turn him in. All right, I guess we're not going out there to take care of business. The door to the catacombs. Yes. Some of your guards are hiding loot in your garrison. What? Who? And where is it? The guards you sent to guard the dockyards. The loot is inside your chests. Those bastards. I knew it. I knew it. Thank you for telling me. They will get their just desserts. And what did that do? Oh, it didn't do anything for reputation. Yeah, we just we just uh, helped him out. I won't steal the stuff. But now we should be able to go wherever we want. Boy, having a little issue with edge detection here today. How can I help you? I want to travel. Where do you want to go? Still need to get more spear uh, points. Maybe the guy at the Order of the Holy Seal will have something to say? I just want to refill the lamp here. Okay, sir, let's see what you can tell me. Peace. So oh, when will I find what keeps your spirit in this world? There is an item I have here. It sealed my fate. Will you give it to me? I would be glad to. Ooh. Quest log entry. So yeah, I think I have to return. Yes. Harris will be pleased. Have you made any progress in your mission? Indeed. 
I have the messenger's letter. Let me see. The same cipher again. Oh, where are my manners? Please take this as a sign of our appreciation. So, this is the letter that Victor wanted to intercept. It says, Sophistos of the net of the mask, you need to act. As you foresaw, Victor's human no more. There is only one person that can prevent his eternal triumph. I know how to help. Meet me in my forest hut in Ivy Creek in the mountains. Forest man. Sophistos? I haven't heard that name in a long time. I wonder if you can shed some light on the matter. I used to live near the hut in the mountains, but its owner's no longer alive. This is an interesting and tragic twist. Still, you already know how to deal with the dead. This is another chance to put your powers to good use. Do you know anything else about this? Yeah, that's tough. I am the one who can prevent Victor's triumph. This does not come by surprise. It certainly explains a lot. Is there anything else you know about this? I've told you everything I know. I appreciate your honesty. You should go and find this forest hut. Use your power and learn what you can. This hut might help us solve this mystery. Good luck and take care. Uh, yes, I just leveled up, but I do want to say I want to save what points I have. See you later. For spear upgrades. Now, I'm going to advance the time here until oh, next it. evening. Now I'm going to try heading to the dockyards, I think. And the guards are still there, but they're actually two different guards. Ah, you're the one who helped us find the traders in our midst. You'll always be welcome here. Thank you, gentlemen. Now I know there's a side mission that deals with some of the jumping up here. Oh. Yeah. Come on, come on. joins them in the tavern.
did auto advance. It auto advanced me to daytime. Damn it. The whole point of coming here was that it was going to. I was going to take care of the. No, of the, all the powder barrels on the ship, but I can't do that in the daytime. Hopefully, there's a place where Scarlet can just uh, sit and relax. And the catacomb entrance is right over. This one or the other one? Now we got some new beasts in here. The lantern and the moon blade. thing over there. That is a ghost. And the only way you can fight him is by in the twilight world. So where can we find Alora's husband? What? Okay. I guess I have to go this way. These, these ghosts actually pack quite a bit of health. And it's on me. Come over here, ghosty. there for a minute, but it does disappear. That should help. I think there's another ghost in here. Yep. At least there's space. We recharged. Now, what was the n skill number nine that I added? It's a moon moonblade poison. Yeah, we'll try that. Don't come down here unless you're prepared to have a lot of a lot of oil, because this is dark. Fortunately, Scarlet has plenty of oil. Skeleton. Oh, there's a ghost coming. Oh, that's funny. It shows up in the in the light.
get him? Oh, she died. Damn. She died twice? Because I see I'm missing, uh... I'm missing two bars in the upper left there. Why is the music still playing? I thought I just died once, right there. Not enough mental energy. Okay. We can fix that. Come on. Oh, and the lamp ran out. And we got another ghost down there. At least we'll have more light. Just one, I think. the skeleton we need. Huh. I don't have enough mental energy to cast it. Huh. Shit. And I ran out of twilight energy, so now I just have to run in circles. Until it recharges. Which should be shortly. And we're ready. Ah! Yeah. Are you serious? Scarlet! Here you are! I was looking for you! It was a horrible night. Nox! What are you. What happened to your eyes? They said they wanted to meet us to discuss a peace treaty. Who did this to you? Because the message came from one of our own people. We all? All of us went there, right into the trap. It was the night of the blade. They smashed the resistance. It was later that night when they found a way to become undead. Immortals, untouchable by death. That was seven moons ago. Now, it's always dark. Who did this to you? It doesn't matter. I didn't betray you. For once in my life, I did the right thing. I did it for you. So go, Scarlet, go and do what you have to do for me. I still know so little. All you need to know is that if Victor finds the Black Grimoire, he can speak the final spell and everything we know will come to an end. You can't let him get the book. You've got to find Victor and when you do, Run that moon blade right through his undead heart, no matter what the cost. We all need to pay. Is there still hope at all? Or is it too late already? As Leora says, maybe soon we'll find out. I will go now. You know what you need to do. And use your powers. Th there is someone around who can help you. Very courageous of you to come down here, whoever you may be. I spoke to Leora. My wife? Oh, my beautiful wife. She's overcome with guilt for all that she did. She did it all with good at heart. She wanted the best for all of us. Does she seek my forgiveness? Oh, Leora. I will never forget the first Mayflower she gave me. I do not need to forgive her. For I always knew she wanted to do the right thing. I will love her forever. In her world and the next. Please, tell her I said that. And oh, there's grippers down here too. And she will explain what all this is about. I believe. Okay. 
treasure map. Ah, something in Africa. We're actually quite close. So was there something else I needed to do down here, or was that it? And that gripper is somewhere around, and that's why the music won't shut off. Yeah, I think that's it down here for now. Wait a minute. This isn't the way I came in. There's a ghost down there. Two skeletons. Sounded like there was a third out there somewhere. Okay. This ghost right there. Gripper and another spy. Yeah, these are no joke. Make sure you're well leveled before you come down here. Really? The Gripper's coming in here. Oh shit! There's a gripper behind me! Alright, fuck you guys. get for wanting to explore. There isn't a skeleton in here, is there? Nobody to talk to. Come on, Scarlet. More grippers. I just go out this way. Whoa! Whoa! Come on, what are you? Fuck you. there's a ghost in there. Yep. Ah, let's get out of here. Wait, did I not loot this guy? Apparently not. This way should be clear anyway. And the lamp is about... Oh! We're right there. That's okay. I've had enough of the catacombs.
You're gonna wonder what this place was before. It wasn't. It's not burial grounds. It looks like part of the old city. We need to take the platform up. Leave me alone. I spoke to your husband. What? How? No, I don't believe you. He said he will never forget the first Mayflower you gave him. Oh. How? So you... you speak the truth. And he said that he doesn't need to forgive you. For he always knew you wanted to do the right thing. Oh, it's true. I made a very bad mistake. It was a moonless night. I knew we'd missed all the chances we were going to get to dispossess the Doge. The resistance was already scarce. And then I met Victor. I didn't want them to die. And he offered me their lives if I delivered them to him. So, I betrayed them to save them. What choice did I have? If we kept fighting, we were all going to die. Better alive in prison waiting for another opportunity than being slain by the Doge's guards. But just as I had betrayed my friends, Victor had betrayed me. He didn't take a single prison. They all died that night. Everything I'd worked for, everything I'd lived for, and everyone I'd loved. Gone. After that, there was no point in fighting anymore. Instead, I consigned myself to a life at Victor's side. I decided that this was to be my punishment until the end of my days. It's never too late. I will change things. You'll just go down the same road I did. In the end, instead of helping, you'll just make things even worse. You cannot change fate. Nobody can. The sooner you accept this, the less damage you'll cause. Now leave me alone. I shall return to my master soon. Here. This is a letter of recommendation. Now you can go and see Largo, who can tell you anything about this district that you need to know. Okay. So now we can get in to see Largo. Let's stay on track with this for now.